Hello, hello. So today is the um, 12th of August, August the 12th, 2024. I'll be doing the astrology readings for the 12th through to the 18th of August. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing the water signs, um, which will be the Scorpio, then Pisces, then Cancerians. Then we'll do the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. And then we'll finish off with the air signs, which is um, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. OK, so that's the lineup today. So um, we do rotate just in case you think that uh, maybe your sign hasn't been first for a while. I promise you we are rotating me and my guides i say we it's the royal we isn't it <laughs> um so um i've had a wonderful week you know apart from fighting the pain and doing everything you know but uh, i've had it i've had a good week um we've had granddaughters sleepovers um saw my grandson today as well so it's just been it's been lovely i i just feel so blessed and um, it's important to count your blessings. It's important to, you know, to say to the universal energy how much you are, you know, in um, in that joy energy sometimes, you know, because more of that joy energy brings about more joy energy. Um, just so important, um, you know, especially right now with so much going on, you know, here in the UK, there are lots of protests and things like that. And although, you know, the protests, they are what they are. Uh, we all know why they are going on here in the UK, just in case you're out of the UK. Um, it's a two-tier two system. Uh, some members of um, the UK get away with all sorts of things, horrendous things. And then other members who are who originate from the UK, uh, get arrested and, um, you know, don't get away with anything. So, um, and usually get the blame for everything else that's going on that actually wasn't their fault. So, um, and I know that it's happening in other countries as well, um, but I'm actually pleased that people are getting uh, annoyed. It's time, it, it's time to, you know to to make a stand i don't mean violence absolutely hate the violence that is not right at all no violence peaceful it's got to be peaceful um that's the only way to get through okay peaceful um but making it known that you know our government needs to step up and do something and and say no more illegal immigrants coming in no more they have to come in the proper way we can't just let them come in, you know, we guide them but into, into Dover, we guide them in and then we put them in hotels and meanwhile we've got loads of homeless people, um, you know, veterans and people that have fought for this country um, and so, you know, I don't mean to be political on here but um, do need to address it, okay. And um, so, yeah, I, I do not like the violence but I think it's time for the UK. People are frightened. You can see the fear on people's faces that, you know, now with all this flooding of, you know, different cultures and things like that, you know, coming in legally, great, because you can have a limit on how many people are coming in. But what we've got is we're going to be taken over soon. And we can't have that. We can't. We've got to stay great britain this is this is this is the uk so anyway so this is why we've got to count our blessings this is why we've got to kind of enjoy what we have and cherish what we have um you know even if it's the very small things and you can only think of something little that you're grateful for you know i know that it's very difficult out there but i can see change i really can and when i look into it it is very exciting. So uh, Greg and I do a show on YouTube in 5D. 
um, we do a show at 1 a.m. Um, and that is that's so it is 8 p.m. and that is um, sorry Tuesdays in the UK it's 1 a.m. Wednesday um, and then we also do this kitten she, she she's gonna cause havoc she's got the zoom she's been sleeping all afternoon um, so and then we've got a 3 a 3 a.m. as well and that is uncensored on on rumble so that's kind of what we've got going on so we answer global predictions we answer you know anything you want really <laughs> it's like uh, we look into it and greg and i most of the time we can confirm <laughs> all with each other uh, we say yep we we see see the same thing but there are times that we do see different things <laughs> which is okay absolutely okay you know, one of us is going to be right, eh? <laughs> um, so, yeah, we do tease each other. And we don't get we don't get annoyed about that. That's it is what it is. It is what it is. So, um, so oh, Kitty might be going to sleep. She's she's just laying just here, just where I put my cards. Yeah, is that so? Is you tired now? After the zoomies? Yes. So Mo still hasn't come home. My cat, he comes in for for the food and then he goes again it's so sad um i'm upset about it i am but um i'm hoping he'll come round. i took kitten to my mum's because we had a uh hallie sleepover uh, so we took kitty to my mum's which was lovely um and she got on fine you know she's fine she take a litter tray she knows as long as she knows where the litter tray is she's absolutely fine she's uh she's good we're just trying to stop her getting out the windows and the doors that's all <laughs> but yeah <laughs> so um yeah i'm rocking a little bit because i've still got you know oh sorry baby still got a bit of uh of pain at the moment but uh, it should ease off because i have taken uh, pain relief so yeah we'll see we'll see so um anyway um down at the bottom here going along the bottom there um there is um the details about uh, what happens what we do okay all the shows that we do and there's the details about etsy shop which is lots of uh, brilliant merchandise lots of kind of uh, you know really funny mugs and you know spiritual things uh, you know that you know all these things help out the channel they do and um if you want a reading with me you can go to psychicalley.net okay and I just want to thank all the Patreons, okay? So each one of these Patreons help keep this channel going. Chrissy H, Alexa, Elsie, Gracie, Sarah, Krista, Christina, Shannon, Greg, Christine, Melissa, Julie, Vera, Renee, Lisa, Kelly, Vaughn, Terry, Sherry, Stephanie, Marejo, Linda, Julie, Deb, Anita, Shannon, Phil, there's two Shannons, Phil, <laughs> Doreen, Devon, and Elizabeth. If you wanted to be part of the Patreon family, you can join for as little as um, $11.11. .11. It is, there's an, I've, the new currency is um, 86 pence it works out um with the 86 pence you basically get um to be um invited to the patreon meetup which is held at the last thursday of every month and there we basically pick cards for each other and we chat and laugh and talk about all sorts of things and it's not recorded you can record your readings but it's not recorded it doesn't go anywhere it's just for us and uh yeah so if you wanted to be part of the patreon you are welcome to go to patreon.com forward slash uh, psychic alley okay if you wanted to support greg you can go to patreon.com um, forward slash in 5D. Um, so, so the magician.
section is the first tier. They're in tiers, and each tier you, you have the same as you had before, plus a little bit more. Okay. Just want to explain what I what them it's like a membership, if you like. Okay, so um video meetup. Okay, and that's the last Thursday of the month. We're also invited to Greg's Patreon as well, which is the first Wednesday of the month. So even though you're not necessarily on Greg's Patreon, you still get invited and vice versa. Okay. Um, so the next one is $5.55 which works out at £4.34 a month. Okay, so 86 pence, pence a month, um, £4.34 a month or $5.55. So you get the video meetup and then you get a mini recorded reading. So just a little taster, um, a little reading you get for um, the five fifty-five. Um, next one up is eleven dollars eleven, and that is eight pounds sixty nine a month, and that you get the video meetup, mini recorded reading, plus you get access to the hundred plus um, workshops and classes that I have um, been teaching. Okay, and there's a new one added nearly every week. Okay, um, next one up is the star, which is $22.22. Sorry, the kitten is being crazy, uh, which works out at £17.39. And that is the video meetup, the mini recorded reading, the access to the videos, classes and workshops. Plus, you get a little mystery gift sent to you, no matter where you are in the world. Um, and the next one up, funny enough, is the world. And that's $33.33. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and that is £26.09 a month. With that, you get the video meetup, meet up, mini re recorded reading, the access to the video classes. Ow! The mystery gift. Oh, so instead of the min mini recorded read. Ow! No! The mini recorded reading, you actually get a 20 minute recorded reading. OK, um, then the next one up is forty four dollars, forty four, thirty four uh, pounds, seventy nine. You get all of the rest that I just said, um, plus you get a 30 minute Zoom reading and then seventy seven dollars, seventy seven, which is sixty pounds, eighty nine. You get all of those. But instead of 30 minutes, you get an hour. So that all the details are in the chat here. They're in the, um, or they will be after the video, I'll be adding them. So there you go. This kitten, hey, what are you like? Yep, she's definitely, definitely lots of, lots of liveliness, but she's fun. She is fun and I love her, I do. <laughs> okay. So let's have a little look and let's see. Um, obviously, if you want a reading, you can grab a reading with me. You can, I do 20 minute readings. I think they're about $25. If you wanted a quick, quick reading, just question or something for 20 minutes, you can, you can do that. Um, and then I do a two hour one, which is $150. Okay, that's for two hours. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a rebook, it's 140. So, okay, let's go to our Scorpios. Let me put my phone on. I like, will you not do that, please? So, Scorpios reading. So, this is the 12th through to the 18th of August. Let me write down the time, which is 14, put 14, 10 there. Okay, perfect. Put that there. Do you want to look after my pen? Look after the pen. Now keep her busy. Okay, does anybody want to see her playing while I'm doing the, the reading? You might want to. She's there. She's there. She's got the pen. Okay. So let's have a look. Um, so this is my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, she's a Scorpio. 
my lovely friend Julie, Julie Earhart, she is a Scorpio too. Um, any other Scorpios out there, let me know in the chat, okay? This one is a recorded reading, so it isn't, um, you know, live today, just because of the, the pain levels today. I needed to make sure that I could um, pause it in between. Right, so... All right, so we've got, I'll put it that way, can't I? Okay, so we've got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is an overflowing of emotion. Um, and sometimes we have to be aware um, that our emotions sometimes can, can play havoc. Sometimes they are really, really high emotions. Sometimes they're lower. Um, sometimes we're in, in very uh, tearful. Sometimes we are excited and bubbly. Um, she's going to sleep now, so we can. Uh, she stopped her zoomies. <laughs> um, so, um, and I feel as if you're that you know, keep an eye on that because that doesn't mean to say just because you have highs and lows um, that you're depressed, but it could be that there's something that keeps triggering you and you don't realize what it is until you actually start to work it out. Um, so maybe start a journal, maybe um, write down what it is that you're feeling. OK, each time that the, the mood swings go. OK, um, I've then got the two of swords. Um, now, the two of swords is my um, not talking to somebody that you would normally talk to. So I feel that there there is somebody that you have kind of fallen out with or you're just not sure about. them. You just feel as if, you know, they might not be the friend that you thought they were. Now, that doesn't mean to say that that is the case, because sometimes we can just be overly sensitive. But um, I also believe in uh, following your intuition as well. So sometimes we can just take a step. back. We don't have to have an argument with anybody or accuse anybody. But sometimes just to have that break, just to get your breather and just ask the universe to reveal anything that needs to be revealed to you. Uh, good, bad and the ugly, you kind of, you know, it's nice to know, um, you know, if that friend is worthwhile having. OK, sometimes um, I've had m many friendships that I felt is very, very close to my heart. And then when you find out more, you just think, I think I need to give this um, a break or maybe the universe deliberately you know, um, distanced you from that person. And, you know, sometimes there's, that's a good thing. Okay. Sometimes you don't realize if someone's draining you, or you don't realize if, you know, that person's energy just isn't sitting right with you. There's always something that uh, goes on. And I feel that that's what is going to be happening with you. Sometimes you're seeing somebody far too much and you just need to kind of, you know, slow it down. OK, um, things are going to start to change as we move closer into the middle of this next week. Um, at that stage, I can see that you are um, finding a little bit more balance, OK, in your own life and enjoying your own company and, um, you know, having fun, perhaps with your children, if you have children or having fun um with maybe, you know, doing some sort of crafts or making things, that sort of thing. But I really feel as if, you know, hang on in there. If you're feeling a bit kind of wobbly uh, at the beginning of the week, like tomorrow, next day, um, you know, I think things will start to calm down and even get much better um, at uh, the end of uh, the, the um, up to the middle of this next week. And then comes the sun. Okay, so the sun card, happy a feeling of happiness, a feeling of pure joy, absolute, I love the word joy, um, and bliss. Basically, you find your balance and uh, you are very happy that you, you did. Now, you also have to make friends with that other side of you. Um, do you have that mischievous side? Do you have a um a childlike side that just needs entertaining you know um every now and again do you want to go out and have fun do you want to you know meet up with your friends and and do something 
you know, do you like dancing? Do you like socializing? You know, when was the last time you did that? Um, if you like going out for meals with your friends, um, you know, that's so I feel as if you've got to find that balance. Um, otherwise, that mischievous you starts to burst out and want to, um, yeah, and want to kind of make you do it, you know, make you, you know, it, it becomes obvious, okay, that you sulk. It's like, I'm not, I'm not happy because I'm not getting what I want. <laughs> it's like, you know, that, that can happen. We Even as an adult, that can happen. I'm seeing education around you also, Scorpios. Education can sometimes be education for your children or it can be education for yourself. Um, it feels as if I want to learn something. I want to develop something. I want to use my brain. Um, I feel as if my brain has been dormant and nothing is changing and I want things to change. I want to keep growing spiritually, emotionally, academically. Um, so I feel as if there's something that you want to do with your life that is going to bring about uh, maybe change for the for the future, preparing for the future. Okay, and by the end of this next week, um, end of this next week, we've got the magician card, which then gives us a sign that your spirit guides and loved ones are very much around you and very much want to talk to you. Um, they want to communicate with you. They want to um, help you in any way they can. Um, so don't forget, if you are in a tricky situation, um, really, uh, you know, you can do it in your mindset. You just say, hey, guys up there, do you mind if you could help me maybe? Um financially you know i need some extra finances or you know i need to find that perfect job or i'm ready to meet that perfect person whatever it is um don't forget that they are wanting to help you but they can't just get involved they have to have your permission and so you know keep an eye on that okay if you start to feel that like pull um towards the future and what it is that you want Remember, you have a whole team of people who are there and ready to help you. OK, uh, for some of you, there's going to be moving. I'm seeing moving and rerouting, um, feeling as if I've got to. I don't feel comfortable where I am and I need to move. And I feel that this will be closer to water. I'm seeing water around um, this move. Um, so it's more um, in, you know, towards the sea. Um, I'm seeing I'm seeing that. And uh, they're also indicating that um, it's like I need to get away from maybe a big city or maybe big areas of lots of people. OK. And I feel more rural. OK. So I, I see that actually coming about for um, it's at least one person, but it could be more. OK, now, if you're watching this, I usually say at the beginning of the recording and I apologize for not saying it. But if you're watching this and you're not a Scorpio and but something in that resonates with you, that is deliberate. And that is from my guides. My guides deliberately plant stuff in there for everybody. OK, so it's a universal thing. Um, obviously, the majority will be for Scorpios. But, you know, there will be stuff in there for you as well. So keep an eye out for that. All right. So that is what I get told by my guys for uh, for Scorpio. So um, I hope you enjoy that. So. OK, so this is Pisces now. OK, this is for me and my mum. Hi, Mama. Um, thank you for um, a lovely time with Hallie. So it's a bit of teamwork with with uh, my mum and I. So I I do lots of activities with with Hallie. Well, we both do, and uh, but Mum Mum does a lot of the the leg work because I can't. So and I appreciate you, Mama. Hallie had a wonderful time. All right, so this is Pisces, okay, 12th through to the 18th of August. And uh, we're going to be having a look and see what um, what's going to be happening for you guys. So I'm going to put some energy in. Oh, look at that. 
the world card comes out so it's going to be a very good week guys very good week thank goodness eh so it's not always a good week but uh i'll take that it's a good week okay okay so we have the chariot um the chariot there's going to be some um crossroads moments coming up um over the next couple of days um and somebody's going to be asking you to make a decision this decision is going to be quite a big decision for some of you and not so big for others but i still feel as if it's that crossroads um, you are going to be weighing up the pros and the cons. You're going to be dissecting what is the best way forward for you. How will your decision affect other people? Um, is it the right time for you to do what you're going to do? You may also have to convince other people um, on your decision because because I really feel as if you are um, standing up for yourself, you are projecting across your wishes, your dreams, um, you are making other people aware, um, you know, that you feel that this is necessary um, for you and for your emotional growth, spiritual growth, or otherwise. Um, so yeah, it's pretty tricky, but you are really ready to defend, I've got to say emotionally you're then left with how do i how do i feel about if other people aren't happy about my decision and uh, and or they think that i'm making the wrong decision how do we then get past that um how is the communication lines going to be you know i'm trying to please everybody why should i feel guilty about trying to please myself trying to make decisions um on my own and um you know this is hard this is it's just a hard week i feel coming up um for pisces okay um now for some of you if i was reading for one person i would be able to tune in and tell you which area of your life it is related to but um we are doing something um we're doing a global one aren't we? we're doing um like astrology readings for all of pisces and so I'm going to say that for some of you, it's going to be a crossroads to do with a relationship. They are showing me um, that there's a relationship that has broken down um, emotionally and communication is not good at all. And I feel that this is um, this has been happening for some time. And I don't feel as if it's anybody's fault. But I do feel, you know, when the longer it goes on, the more pressure there is um, to to help your mental mental health um, by moving out of the situation, and uh, I really feel very sad. Okay, because it's, it's going to affect not just you, but it's going to affect other people as well. And uh, you know, you're you're tempted, and you well, you have been tempted quite a lot. Um, of just leaving it be and not doing anything about it and just carry on as normal and it doesn't matter if you're not happy you know what does it matter but um it's going to eat away slowly 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 um at your um point of view it's going to eat away and so um for others it's going to be to do with a job or to do with money matters you know financial matters and you're standing at this crossroads thinking do you know what i just i just feel that i'm not appreciated and i don't feel as if this job fits me and my personality or you know i'm in a job that doesn't appreciate my my expertise you know um feeling of self-employment maybe um, and, uh, you know, earning your money for yourself and using all your skills to make money for you. Um, so whatever it is, this crossroads, it's a big deal. I feel as if it's a big deal. And it is going to be happening around the beginning of this next week. OK. Um, again, we've got that self-employed card. So this is just reiterating the fact that um, there is somebody or quite a lot of you out there that either want to start that extra job 
or you feel that you're being pressured to or pushed to um, maybe start that that job. Now that job could be um, um, it could be in addition to what you're already doing, or it can be um, you know yeah it, it's it's tricky i feel it's tricky because again they're they're just telling me that you are in a crossroads because you have got a lot of pressure on your shoulders there's a lot um that you have to weigh up before you make a decision okay so two kings so there are two main characters around you who um i feel have got very strong opinions and um they do interfere with your life these people with opinions and that leaves you um, having to um, appease them I don't use that word appease but anyway um, and I, I'm seeing that you are having to put on a tough exterior and protect you know maybe feeling a bit vulnerable um, but I am seeing that there is a chance of more money coming to you um, should you decide to um, to follow that uh, that extra job okay now no one's saying leave a job to go to a possible making money you know doing the self-employment thing um it does feel as if you're you know the best idea is to do it slowly um so you've got something going on in the background and you've got your your main income coming in and you you nurture this second one until that becomes earning as much as your your other job and then you swap so i feel as if there's sensible there's sensible wording there's sensible thought pattern um but it's very important now obviously if this isn't self-employed for you you might be um listening to somebody else who's talking about self-employment or it could be you've just going to do something different with money um, there is a meeting, a special meeting that's going to be coming up, I would say, at uh, towards the middle of this next week, okay, um, maybe the 15th, something like that. There's going to be an important meeting. This important meeting is going to determine um, how things are going to be in the future and whether or not things are going to be um, a lot higher vibrational energy or a lot lower, okay. A lot is riding on this, okay, for sure. Um, by the end of uh, next week, okay, by the end of next week, um, and we're moving closer to the 18th, there's somebody coming back from the past, somebody who you haven't seen for quite some time. This person has been on your mind, and then all of a sudden you hear from them, um, and this person um, will have your attention. Now, it could be that you end up thinking, I don't know, I don't know why I wanted contact with you because nothing's really changed. Um, you know, it didn't work out before, so why should it work out now? Um, but, you know, sometimes there wasn't that closure. Sometimes we have to, um, you know, we have to have, you know, that that finish, that close. Okay, so I feel, you know, there is a um, complicated um, love life situation, com complicated reuniting energy there. Um, part of the time you do feel bored there is a boredom or restlessness feeling and um, you're needing some something or somebody to stimulate your mind to stimulate yourself to to do something different um, now I can see rejection um, around you that could be you rejecting someone or someone rejecting you all I know is there is a um, a lesson of rejection okay coming up and that will be the end of next week okay Pisces so that is what I see for you guys I hope you enjoyed that Pisces reading um I don't feel as if it's a huge thing this uh this uh um this rejection thing okay I don't think it's a, a big thing it's nothing that you can't prepare yourself for now you've had the heads up, it doesn't seem so bad. Okay, all right, let's have a look then at the next one. Okay, so this is for Cancerians, okay. This is for my daughter, Megan, and for all the other Cancerians out there. So um, I know Mareho is Cancerian. Um, 
Who else is Cancerian? Oh, I haven't got my, my proper list here, but anyway, um, the, to all the Cancerians, okay, let's have a little look and see what's going to be happening for you guys. That's the kitten calling out for Mo now. Um, Mo came in, his food's on the windowsill, and he's hissing away at the kitten, which before it was the kitten hissing at him. Um, so now he's uh, hissing at that kitten, which is not like him at all. He doesn't usually do that with other cats. So I'm lost, really, as to, you know, why he is feeling the way he's feeling. I don't know. But uh, it's it's a shame. It's a shame. So Mo's my my cat, my adult cat, and and Tink is my kitten. And um, yeah, I just want them to to get on. I really do. Okay, let's have a little look and see. Okay, so the Prince of Wands is my Leo energy. Okay, so I'm seeing. Um, I'm well. This is what they're they're showing me. They're showing me um, a need to. Um, get to the bottom of um a, a problem get to the bottom of you know you know where one person is saying one thing and another another person saying another and you just don't know who to believe so i feel as though there is um I, I, getting getting to it's like having to be a bit of a detective i'm seeing at the beginning of next week um, now, there is a feeling of, you know, when somebody says they're going to do something and they don't or, you know, they're full of it sometimes. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I do this and I'll do that and I promise this and I promise that. And then nothing happens. And that tends to leave kind of a bad taste sometimes. And so there is a little bit of frustration there. There is a little bit of, you know, well, what do you know, where do we go from here? OK, but you feel as if you're running around um, and not knowing what uh, what to do next. OK, so. Um, so, yeah, it, it, I can definitely feel that frustration for you. OK, there is a spiritual lesson to be had. Um, so sometimes we have to trust our intuition um, because a lot of the time our intuition is right. So is this person to be trusted? Is this person going to promises now there's a lot of times that there are, are people out there who it's like they absolutely believe what they're saying you know i will do this or i won't do that and i promise this and i promise that that comes deeply from their heart so of course it's believable because they believe it a hundred percent at that particular time they believe what they are promising there's a problem there is a problem. Sometimes they're not capable. Sometimes it's to do with their limited beliefs um, or limited be believing in themselves or limited um, emotions or limited um, willpower, okay, to complete things. Um, yeah, there's something that has been or will be um, causing some issues. And that's what I feel is to do with promises that aren't being kept and not knowing what the truth is, okay? And this truth could be between two people. Um, so this is a challenge for you because you don't want to get it wrong. You don't want to accuse somebody of something that they haven't actually done. But equally, you have to be realistic as well. So a um, bit of a challenge for you the beginning of this week. The kitten has fallen down the back of the... And she's just making her way back now. So she fell down the back of the chest of drawers, partly because she was mucking about and trying to, really. But anyway, sorry, she's, she's just kamikaze cat. She really is kamikaze, yeah. Anyway, I see a bit of rejection going on. Um, this rejection card's come up. I'm going to show it to you because it's the second time, um, and I've only done two other readings. So, well, this is the third time. So it's come up in the first reading. It's come up in the um, the second reading. Now this is the third. So, yes. Um, so this indicates that uh, somebody 
is feeling rejected or somebody is rejecting um, and that energy is around your house or it's around a business that is being um, worked on okay because it feels as if it's to do with climbing of the structure um, it's to do with kind of you know everybody putting so much effort in and who gets what from what okay so it's linked around that um they are talking about moving boxes and changes so i'm seeing somebody with a removal van and i feel as if they are going somewhere that is quite away um i'm seeing you know it being a fair distance and you know when um you're having to get organized with the boxes now I'm going to give you a, a little hint here. Um, I've moved so many times, so many ridiculous times. Okay, I've moved. So I'm going to give you a hint. So get yourself a lovely Sharpie, a uh, nice thick marker pen. And with your boxes, um, obviously, if it's kitchen, you put kitchen and then you put one, two, or three. Okay. So Box number uh, three is all the stuff that you don't, you know, you don't really use very much. So you've packed that away first, okay, because, you know, you're hardly ever going to use that stuff. Um, box number two is stuff that you don't need, um, you know, you, you can leave box, to box number one being the last box of all the essentials, the stuff that you need. So when you unpack those boxes, one, two, and three, you know, to unbox, first of all, unbox box number ones, then box number twos, box number threes. Box number threes can wait, really. So anyway, that's just my little tip, okay? It worked for me many, many times. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I feel that there is going to be some sort of moving I'm seeing. Um, there is an, a business that is really climbing the ladder of success as well. I'm really seeing um, it's like it's like something is branching out and and growing. And I feel it's like a tree that is um, that is building up. And I'm seeing lots of people um, connecting to this energy. And uh, this to me says there. Is, this is time. This is the right time um, to expand. It's the right time to get what it is um, that you deserve. Okay, out of a financial situation. Um, so if you are in a work situation, then um, maybe hint about um, maybe uh, promotions or you know what what would it you know it's a good question what would i need in order to get that promotion what would i need you know what would you suggest i do okay so you know it's uh, sometimes you can do it in a jokey way and sometimes it might be more serious yes <laughs> but uh, yeah so it's all about expansion i feel it's very good very good combination of cards OK, it's planning ahead and expansion. Um, and by the end of the week, the end of the week, I've got um, a very strong, feisty female energy around you, Cancerians. And I've got a set of keys. These keys are going to be opening new doors for some of you. That will be um, that will be official. That will be um you know, literal, literal keys opening new doors. Now, for other people, that will be metaphorically speaking, new opportunities coming up. Um, it's right next to the nine of pentacles, which is a financial card, which is, you know, everything is turning out much better than before. OK, um, spe especially finances. Um, there is a complicated love life situation that comes up around um, the 18th. OK, 17th, 18th. And I'm seeing that communication lines are not great. Um, nobody is really listening to what the other person is saying. And that's partly, oh, she's leaning on the cat, on the, on the mouse. Oh my gosh, she did this before and she cut the whole thing off. She's a bugger, honestly. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so there's complications in love life. And I feel as if I've, um, it's like I've somebody's overstepped the mark, okay? Somebody's overstepped the mark, as they've just said to me. 
okay um so that has caused complications and nobody's actually listening to the words that somebody's saying and that person you know is literal i'm gonna say that there are times that um women especially i'm gonna say women especially we sometimes don't like the answer that men give and sometimes men can be pretty blunt it's like you know yes i love you or no i don't love you or i want to be with you i'm just not sure i want to be with you or you know whatever they're saying and it's like we then add on oh it's because they're hurt it's because of you know this has happened or that's happened or oh you know they're just saying that because they want to you know mind games and things like that it's like so, men aren't that complicated sometimes women complicate it men sometimes actually do mean what they say so be careful not to over exaggerate what it is that is being said to you ladies okay regarding men <laughs> okay so that's what i get for cancerians okay right let's cut this, this one pause this one and i'll come back in a minute for um taurus So this is Pisces, and um, this is the 12th to the 18th of August. Okay, let's have a look and see what they want to tell you. Right. Here we go. Okay, the hermit. So um, I'm seeing it, it's like um, withdrawing withdrawing away the realization that sometimes being in other people's company um even if they're nice company can sometimes result in draining you and that draining energy it's like um it's fine you know you flow it flows from the from soul and out but it does use some of your energy as well and what i'm picking up is um sometimes you need to kind of you know stand alone or or sit alone just be by yourself you can do this in nature or you can do this at home as long as there's nobody else around it just feels as if you just need some alone time um enough to um center yourself and to recharge you don't need long sometimes that can be just 10 minutes um but you know understand that this is very important um to you um and taurus um you're always kind of working there's there's a lot of hard work around you you know you've always got kind of jobs going on um and you know after that job you've got another one and then another one so um but you you are pretty good at resting in between you're pretty good at saying okay it's time to you know put put the tools down and and go for it but i feel that sometimes it might be straight into helping other people okay so they're just asking you to, to you know have have that alone time um probably at this um this week especially i'm gonna say this week especially okay um juggling money juggling money um juggling money juggling time juggling people juggling energies um and sometimes this is a story of your life you know i know that we can say that a lot of people are juggling um but this particularly is something that you have been it's like i'm seeing you working on it um you know it's like so if i finish this job i can quickly nip over and see that person and then i can quickly go over to that person and do their job for them um and and then if I finish early, then I can have some time for me. And so I think that sometimes this this is, um, you know, this has caused you to feel more tired than usual um, because you are being pulled in so many different directions. And um, sometimes it could be that you could, you know, there are some jobs that you could say, well, I can't do it this week, but I can do it next week. So they're just asking you to think about that a little bit more, okay, when it comes to juggling your time and energy and once again you know we've got the te temperance card which is exactly what we're picking up temperance balance okay having the balance okay very important 
okay so that was kind of the beginning of this next week um the middle of next week um little, again we've got this caring card this looking after yourself um some people have been stealing your energy and stealing your kind of mojo if you like um and it's like how dare they do that it's like enough um so you know i know the cards are all saying the same thing but this is a, this is big okay i'll show you the cards um so that you know what i'm picking up the hermit wisdom going within okay juggling of energy or finances trying to find the temperance and the balance that's all the beginning of the week straight away the next one is my looking after card it's my my safety um, blanket card um this is my perfection like everything has to be perfect everything has to be just so and then we've got the analyzing it okay analyzing what it is that you're doing so you can see that the majority of cards uh taurians is about you either caring for yourself or caring for someone um other than you and the need for balance okay that's all that they say okay at the beginning and the middle of this um next um week okay there is a character who no matter what you do you're never going to get it right you're never going to be exactly um what they've asked for <laughs> okay and and that can sometimes be you know torture as well because it's like you know i've tried to do everything and yet you're still criticizing um i feel as if it's just this personality it's the personality of this person it's not anything to do with you okay right so you are going to be with and uh, well hanging out with and uh, connecting to a very um level-headed um introvert type of person but somebody who because they they don't say a lot they sit back and they watch and when they watch you can see that they learn a lot they learn about all sorts of uh, all sorts of things that other people think that you know they're they're talking in confidence but they're hearing it so i do feel as if there's a lot of wisdom and um this person can uh, give you so much information um that you didn't uh, you didn't really realize that they had okay and then by the end of the week then the end of the week it's enough of that kind of isolation um it's back to work it's back to organization um i've then got um i've got looking after yourself um linked with a doctor so somebody's got to make that doctor's appointment or go to uh, get that the results and that's a message for me as well i need to go and get my results <laughs> i'm gonna write it down now because that that's a message for me get results <laughs> that's funny okay yeah i feel as if you know somebody around you taurus are needing to maybe get uh, results for you as well for the test um um but i am seeing looking after yourself there is an important meeting coming up and i feel that this is to do with being in between jobs um so this could be in transition to um um a really good job okay or really good financial um it can, it can be advice it can be wisdom okay but uh, you know once again i'm seeing the card that says we have two pathways ahead of us now you can see that these fine these coins are all linked to the pentacles money um that this has you've been planting seeds for a long time in the same places or doing the same thing but it hasn't really grown it hasn't really developed into anything and so you've got these two coins here and now you've got to decide well do i carry on doing what i've been doing or is it time to take that gamble is it time to take the risk and say do you know what i'm going to go for it i'm going to try that new venture i'm going to try that new thing um and what what else have i got to lose so i do feel as if this is investment and a gamble to do with money an opportunity and that's where this meeting card comes in 
there is a character around this um, and this person is somebody who is very wise but uh, can be a li little bit arrogant can be a little bit cocky kind of with their um you know with themselves do you know what i mean it's like they you know whatever they do it's always perfect um they've got a criticism for other people so um so you know it's a you know you could admire somebody but you can also not like them particularly <laughs> so you know you don't have to be bosom pals with this person but there definitely is some advice and some help being given um, by this particular person. OK, and that's what's linking to this meeting at the end of this uh, next week. Um, it can also be a, um, a partnership meeting for a partnership or promotion at work or being given some extra responsibilities at work. Sometimes that can be the case as well. Um, but um, you're definitely kind of thinking of two ways of going about um, getting the job done, okay, or getting what it is that you um, deserve, okay. There's definitely not just one pathway here. There are more than one pathway. So there you go. That's what I see for a uh, Taurus, okay. Okay. <clears throat> So this is Virgos, reading for the 12th through to the 18th of August. Okay, let's have a little look, see what they want to say. Well, I could, first of all, my guides are saying, um, this is your natural instinct is to plan ahead. And that's really kicking in, okay? Sorry, this is a, the kitten is also kicking in. So, do you mind? Um, so, yeah, the um, the natural instinct. <laughs> get rid of all that. The natural instinct um, to plan ahead, to get organised, um, to see what you want to do. You know, um, I want to do this, then this, then this. The stepping stones that lead up to um your goals your you know um your dreams if you like they're all stepping closer and closer to you so i can see you kind of planning um maybe writing lists kind of um maybe doing some journaling um that gets you kind of motivated and and you know puts it into bite-sized bits not me bite-sized bits not me bite-sized bits um, so yeah, that's that's what um, first of all, as I was shuffling, that's what they were saying. Okay, now this card, this card, the kitten is just helping with this card. Um, it is the the hanged man, and the hanged man is saying that life is upside down sometimes. And sometimes we have to learn from. Um, mistakes we also have to learn um, to take the ups and downs you know to not always think that the world is against us just because our plans haven't worked out the first time sometimes it's all about timing you know um, it might not have worked back then but it, it's got a good chance of working now um, there's your Virgo that is my card there for uh, Virgos okay that is the um, the Norbert Loesch cosmic deck um, that is the Virgo card funny enough so yeah this to me says you know it, there's going to be rerouting with somebody somebody is thinking of moving right away um, they've kind of decided that the area that they're living it just doesn't seem to sit right it doesn't seem to be the right uh, the right place for them and so I can see somebody who is um, trying their hardest to convince other people that they're not going mad and that you know this is going to be the right move okay now that doesn't have to be for all of the Virgos but it is definitely for one in particular um, could be for somebody you know that's a message also for somebody who is um, you know, watching this, maybe you're not a Virgo. Remember, I said that my guides do give me 
um, information that um, is uh, is put in there for whoever's watching. Okay, so that would relate to, to you. Um, there is somebody who is tearful and emotional, and I feel that this person does not like change. So, you know, obviously there's going to be some people who's, um, who is going to be big kind of change and movement forward. And other people, it might be changes of a job. It might be changes of, um, you know, their home circumstances. Um, but uh, everything is upside down. So it is in kind of like waiting mode. It's, it's, it's like pending. Okay. Um, and that's the beginning of the week. So by the um, middle of the week, we do have, um, is, this is to do with love. And I'm seeing a celebration of love, somebody who is feeling very happy, very, um, it's like they can't believe their luck. They can't believe that everything has worked out the way that they wanted it to. Um, and uh, they are, you know, waiting to see how things go in the end. But um, there is an intensity there. Um, I'm also seeing a family gathering. They're talking about a family gathering as well. Um, that is happening around the middle of um, this next week. Um, there's somebody who's um, not wanting to go to this family gathering um, because there is, they may have to go on their own or they don't, they, something to do with who they go with. There's an issue about who they go with, who they attend this, uh, this party or celebration. I'm seeing lots of wishes and dreams. So this is the time for you um, to plan ahead. This is exactly what my guides are saying about, um, about your circumstances, Virgos. Okay, so by the end of the week, now the end of the week, there may be a delay. Okay, um, I feel as if I feel trapped or I feel blocked. So, you know, sometime you kind of go, yep, yeah, that's what I want to do. And that's where I want to head and that's it. And you can be very, very adamant, very sure of yourself. But there may be somebody else who um, around you and it's like that's that somebody else is going to be um, not so happy about it. Like I said, there seems to be, um, you know, an obstacle there. But I really see um, problems that can't that don't have. Um, solutions to them and you know your spirit guides are also kind of trying to work on these as well um now obviously that can be you know not yes it just means you know maybe it's not the right time yet um or maybe you have to be patient at this particular point and they are indicating hard work so i do feel as if it is a matter of time only so it's not a no it's just about time um is there enough money put by for you um is there you know are you going to be secure enough to make this decision to make this leap forward and i just had the urge to pick this card and we do have that's a big yes card we do have the um, the world card, which says, yeah, um, you know, this will happen. This will happen. All these transactions, all all these, um, you know, it's like step by step, stepping stones towards the big goal. They are all going to happen. You just have to um, keep pushing forward. And it's like, if you can just say this week, I'm going to get that done towards my goal. And then the following week, you can say, uh, you can say another one, another goal, and and each week it can be it can be done. So I really feel as if you know it is up to you how quickly you receive the um, the wishes that you've put put out there. So there you go. That's what I get for Virgos. That's what that's what Kitty gets as well for Virgos so <laughs> okay so this is Capricorn's reading um, for the 12th through to the 18th of August okay we also have a nutty kitty who is also very lively right now Oops. 
there you go have that okay so let's see if i can do this <laughs> with the kitty okay so here we go she's crazy loon right so now um i'm being told about a um a character who has been letting people down um i'm aware that they know that that's what they've been doing and there is um an element of being sorry about it um the realization that this has happened um i'm getting that um you know when somebody deliberately says i I'm, I'm gonna do this or i'm never gonna do that again or i am sorry because so what else is going on is they they are they mean what they say um like i said i've i've had this before it's and today i've had this this message before it's like there are some people who um, they realize that something has been happening. They realize that they have been part of something that, um, you know, that, that has let other people down. And they are absolutely adamant that they will not do this again, that, that everything is, um, you know, resolvable and it's all going to be fine. But um, they absolutely can't change it because they, they just, it's impossible for them. Um, and so that's what I'm, I'm picking up, really. Um, this, again, um, is going on in somebody's life here. Now, whether that's you, you know, the Capricorn who is um, having this reading, or whether this is um, somebody um, that has let you down, okay, promising you, you know, things that they can't fulfill. Um, there is rejection going on, and there is a sadness kind of energy there. And it's like, how do we get through this? Um, there's been a lot of pain and hard, heartache already. Um, and so, you know, it is it is a very hard situation. Um, there is a standing up for yourself, though, standing your ground and standing up for yourself. So um, I can see this person has got, um, you know, when someone's got strength of character and, you know, they aren't the sort of person that, um, you know, it's it's like they've got pride okay and they stand up tall and they will you know you know if, the, if things aren't going right they'll they'll man up or woman up <laughs> and uh, they'll say you know yeah i let you down and i'm sorry um but you know they they've still got this rejection energy and they realize that they are letting people down i do pick up that if for, for one of these um situations i'm seeing that they are they have an addiction or an addictive personality. And it's like they go from one thing to another to another. Okay. And that can then lead to, um, you know, this, uh, this letting people down business. Okay. By the middle of the week, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a job situation here. Um, the offer of a job, um, the chance of a new job, the chance of new money. Um, but I am seeing depression or a feeling of being blocked or I can't do it because. So is somebody feeling as if they can't um, they can't do what uh, uh, what is asked of them? Maybe, you know, um, this can be um, a, it's it's like. Um, yeah, I'm feeling very childlike energies. I'm, it could even be somebody who suffers from PTSD, you know, um, you know, where it's, they have panic attacks and the past has, has you know, uh, come through to them and they can't move on. So I can be picking up on that um, because, you know, we've got this kind of how do I get past this? How do I get through this? Um, and I do feel for them. We've also got the Four of Cups, which is the um, the depression, but it's also the confusion as well there. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles can be new job, new money, new information um, about a job or money. So, you know, maybe somebody is ending up getting money because of their confusion. 
um, yeah, I mean, because I'm doing a collective reading, um, we never, never quite know whether or not, um, you know, we've got multiple different scenarios going on here. By the end of the week, we do have the High Priestess, which indicates maybe things are secretive or maybe things aren't being revealed yet. Um, so don't be surprised if you're not getting the whole whole information, the whole picture. OK, um, and that might be frustrating. So um, also there's somebody who is um, I feel as if they've they know the situation, but they're they're not telling anybody or they aren't, you know, when it's like um, it would help if you just honoured the fact that this is what you do or, you know, it's like, you know, when somebody can stand up and says, you know, I'm I'm an alcoholic and my name is blah, 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 and I'm an alcoholic. Something like that. I'm seeing somebody who needs to own up to their, um, their problem, the problem that they're going through. Okay. Now, there is a boredom here, which means this could have been going on for quite some time. And, you know, now's the time for that change. We've got the step forward, which also reminds me of those steps. I can't remember how many steps there are, um, but the two of uh, two of pentacles. Look, he looks very nervous to me. He looks very worried or nervous. You know, um, he doesn't, he or she um, doesn't want to keep going through this. It's like I'm done with this. So you've got three aces here. So if this isn't somebody who is going to be changing their life, I mean, you don't get three aces in a in a six card reading very often. OK, this is massive. There's something massive going on here for Capricorns or somebody close to a Capricorn here. I'm just going to lay out three more cards. This person is taking a leap of faith. Um, they are literally saying, I know what I must do and I'm going to prove everybody wrong because I'm going to do it. So there's a lot of determination there. So there you go. That's what I see for Capricorns. Um, now, remember, it's either you or someone around you or maybe this situation is affecting you some way. That's why it's come up in your reading. So. There you go. That's what I get for Capricorns. OK, so we're looking into Leo now. Um, this is the 12th through to the 18th of August. OK. I say the date so that my guides know exactly what to look at. So just so you know why I keep saying the date. All right. Here we go. I know Greg's daughter is a Leo, so it's Brittany, um, this is for you and uh, all the other Leos out there. Okay, so, okay, so they're talking about um, having to put a hard front on, having to pretend that you're stronger than you actually feel. It's like, you know, toughen up and, you know, keep smiling and, you know, don't, don't let them realize that you might be feeling vulnerable. So, it, yeah, it, this can get tiresome um, when you're trying to, um, it, it's like you're trying very hard to, to be the person that everybody wants you to be when sometimes you actually feel vulnerable. Actually, you don't feel as strong as, as, as they want you to be. So I feel as if, you know, you're kind of sidestepping around situations, trying not to get involved, um, you know, because of the feeling of vulnerability. Now, if this isn't you, Leos, then this would be somebody close to you. This would be, you know, a character in your game of life. OK, um, I can see some travel plans and I feel as if there are some links with, um, you know, a sunny climate as well. Um, I'm seeing vacations, I'm seeing uh, fun and laughter as well. Um, now, I'm not saying that every Leo is going to be going on holiday, but I do see a lot of people talking about holidays and, um, and you know, maybe booking those holidays. 
Um, I'm seeing also um, links with vehicles. So um, getting vehicles checked, getting your uh, transport double checked, um, because I feel as if that needs to be organized um, before any anything else happens. Um, so yeah, just, um, yeah, something to do with, you know, your, somebody is, their oil is low or, or something is uh, going on with a car. Okay, so make sure that you kind of give that um, a, a look. Okay, right. Um, there's also a tire, and I feel that it's one of the front tires. Okay, it's one of the front tires, and I'm seeing um, there being a slow puncture, or there's a nail in the tire, um, and I feel that that is also needing to be uh, checked out as well. Okay, um, around the middle of this next week, um, we've got um, somebody who's sulking. I feel as if they're not getting what they want out of a situation and they really are kind of, um, you know, when somebody's getting stroppy or somebody's getting, you know, um, it's like, it's not fair, life is not fair, the poor me, the victim kind of energy. And I feel as if this person doesn't really understand um, that the world does not revolve around them and that, you know, somehow they've got to kind of man up a bit. They've got to kind of, you know, see life um, as um, an adult, you know, with responsibilities and things like that. So this person is acting immature or is immature, okay? And, um, oh dear, we've got Kitty back now. Um, so, <laughs> could get chaotic. Um, so, yeah, I feel, no, no, you're not getting up there. So, yeah, this, this to me says that things are going to be changing and they don't like the changes. Um, and they're wondering why these changes are, um, are happening without their permission, so to speak. Um, and, uh, yeah, this, this is, this is a, a tricky situation because I feel as if I'm walking on eggshells around this person. Um, there's also somebody who is kind of very much the opposite, really. Um, they're going with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And they're not really wanting to cause a fuss or anything, even if they don't agree with what's happening. Um, they're more kind of go with it, you know. Um, you know, in these changes... Um, Sometimes it's like change of plans and there are characters who can go with that and, and deal with that and there are, are characters who just don't. And I'm seeing this, uh, this the contrast in these two people um, on how they are dealing with these changes. Okay, I'm seeing a flirtatious um, banter back and forth as well. Um, I don't know if this is you or this is uh, someone else, but I'm feeling this kind of banter. You know when you get a message and you know you're smiling uh it makes you smile or it makes you giggle um and i also feel a bit of insecurity or rejection as well um there is somebody who needs to look in oh i've never said this before you know when you have suspicions about your partner cheating and this person is um it's like they they don't deserve to they don't deserve to have their privacy. Wow, I've never done this in my life and I've never looked in someone's phone before. But that's what they, I think that I'm seeing somebody looking in someone's phone. Um, it's, you know, when somebody gets a message and they keep smiling and then it's like, who was that? And it's like they're a bit vague. Um, and then, you know, it happens again and again and again. And that person is not wanting you to see their phone. There's, there is something going on. Now, I'm not saying this is with you directly. This could be with, um, you know, a family member or, you know, maybe even, a, you know, a child. And, and uh, you know, with obviously younger children, you have to be careful. Every now and again, you do have to check their phones, um, you know, how things happen. OK. And you don't know if uh, this person is um, talking to somebody of their own age or not. OK. So um, I just don't know. Um, you know, they're just showing me you, somebody looking through a phone and it being the best thing to do. OK, that is the best way to deal with it. Um, that's from spirit. So not from me. Um, 
because um, I, I, ha I haven't done that before ever. You know, it's like, yeah. Um, and I've never, never stopped somebody looking through my phone. I've always been very open. If somebody wants to, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but um, yeah. Anyway, we'll move forward. Um, so I do see looking forward to a nice future, looking forward to something that is going to bring um, that joy and happiness into your life. And I, I can see that these plans to go away, to go on holiday, um, there may be a little bit of a delay or there may be something that is a bit of an obstacle that needs to be looked at first. OK, but it's only little um, and it will then be sorted out. It won't be an issue or a problem after that. I'm feeling a bit tormented by my emotions, tormented by my um, my feelings. Lots of feelings are going on. Lots of other people around me are trying to help me or trying to give me advice. And, you know, it's a bit overwhelming. Um, meanwhile, I'm putting up some barriers and I'm kind of hiding um, within these barriers. Um, but you are looking at life being better for the future, um, looking forward to how things are going to be. Um, yeah, you are standing up for yourself, standing up for your rights, OK? Um, there is some gossip around and a need to sort the gossip out once and for all to get to the bottom of a situation. Um, there is a love life issue going on this um, this next week, okay, Leos, with somebody close to you or somebody around you. Um, I mean, it can, it doesn't have to be love life. Sometimes it can be friendship and um, people ganging up on another person or, you know, uh, trying to influence another person's uh, mindset, you know, and uh, that can be a, a form of bullying, really. I mean, uh, um that's that's kind of what i'm i'm seeing um so anyway that's what i get um a bit of a weird reading this uh this week i'm afraid leo's but um yeah it will it's like you know when sometimes you have to um shake things up in order to put firm foundations down in order to go forward okay that's that's kind of the idea of uh, what's happening um with uh with leo's okay so that's what i get okay so sagittarius okay so i've got sagittarius moon so this would be for me as well um so any other sagittarius out there i know my friend uh, jill page is a sagittarius and um, so yeah let me know okay just building up the energy now um, to, to see what's what. Okay, so for my guide's sake, the 12th to the 18th of August. Okay, so they're showing me some sort of water leak um, they're going on. I feel as if it's outside the house. So that could be, um, you know, it's an overflow system or something like that. But they're showing me a water leak. Um, and um, I feel as if it's, it can be a quick sort. It doesn't have to be um, anything. If you catch it early, that is. It doesn't have to be anything bad. Okay. So again, I'm seeing vehicles and travel. Um, I feel as if somebody, um, you know, seems booking um, a breakaway. Um, and I'm also seeing this maybe a new relationship or, you know, um, early days within a relationship or something um, special going on and exciting. Um, there's also this uh, feeling of, um, you know, when you feel like a teenager, OK, as well. So it could be you're just um, organising something really nice and, um, you know, you're you're realising that uh, this is what you used to do when you were younger. So, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of bounce in your step for sure. Um, but there has to be one person who is taking it seriously is organizing and bringing everything together um there is the romantic energy as well okay so this is where you like somebody and uh, you want it to go uh, further okay you're wanting 
that person to know that that's how you feel. Um, there is weighing up the pros and the cons, so it can be a very difficult thing. Um, maybe it's a bit too complex, and if you decide to step forward, um, that might not be such a, such a brilliant plan. Um, sometimes you think, well, what happens if it doesn't work out? Um, well, sometimes work out the person's personality. Um, if that person's quite laid back or quite um, quite jokey and quite funny and is quite grounded in themselves, then the chances are if something works or if it doesn't work, that person's going to kind of still be a friend and still be able to kind of laugh along with life, you know. Um, but if someone seems as if they are a kind of a jealous type, um, an insecure type, then maybe that's not such a good idea to get involved um, in the first place with somebody like that. Um, so, yeah, it, it's like all to do with kind of being a little bit broken, um, you know, emotionally and, and needing to balance out those emotions as well and um, taking charge of your happiness. Um, you do have the world card, which is saying that everything is going to work out far better than you could have dreamed of it's actually better for you okay so sometimes it can be chaos but actually it's all right okay it is all right um i'm seeing some sort of accounts because i'm seeing numbers being written down and calculated as well they're all it's organization of that so i don't know if it is somebody's actual accounts that they're doing um but it does feel as if it's you know as it's being worked out it, it, and they're giving me that information that actually it is better than you thought. OK, so it's actually good. Um, yeah, so um, I feel that there is. Um, yes, a, a car definitely does need looking at for sure. They keep picking up this car and the steering. Does that make something to do with the steering? Um, is somebody's steering kind of getting stiff? Because it's like steering fluid. You know when you have to put this fluid stuff in your steering wheel? Um, so <laughs> that's a bit of a bizarre uh, one. So obviously that's going to be just one person that, that relates to some person that's listening to this. Even if you're not a Sagittarius, um, they give me these random things as well. Okay, so um, frustration because there has been some um, delays and things to do with um, a family get-together. You know, people... Um, coming together, people talking about things, people analysing, you know, what actually made everybody fall out in the first place. Um, but it's like nobody wants to address those issues. Um, and that is because, um, you know, that person is, uh, it, it's, it's as if, um, it's as if they are um, trying to look for perfection, um, and uh, they're not looking at the whole picture, okay? So yeah, they're just talking to me here about, you know, obstacles, um, keep going. That's what they keep saying, keep going because it will become good in the end. You do have the 10 of cups, which is um, a really good emotional card, okay? It means uh, finding happiness within yourself, um, not necessarily um, needing somebody to come and rescue you. It would be nice, but it doesn't have to be that case, along with the world card, which means it's going to turn out really well to do with your love life, to do with your emotions. Um, but this can indicate that sometimes we have to hold back on our emotions or on our frustrations in life. Um, and uh, that's that's how it is. Sometimes we just have to, you know, put a stiff upper lip and off we go. Um, towards the end of the week, end of the week, things getting quite spicy within a relationship. OK, so that's falling in love or is it lust? Um, it can also mean a celebration of love in other ways. So that can be love of family. That could be love of, um, you know, you know, maybe your children and, and enjoying a day out together and standing back and watching them, you know, play and get and get on well with other children and things and or in enjoying the day so yeah sometimes that can be you know celebration of love can be that too um lots of ideas you've got the ace of swords so ideas inspiration um so are you thinking of going somewhere we've got two of aces now when i got all the aces last time i literally 
um, cut the pack, I put one card in. I cut the pack again, I put another card in. Cut the pack again, put another card in. So they were absolutely separated, 100% separated. It's gonna freak me out. <laughs> I said it was gonna freak me out if I got another ace. Guess what? There's another ace. Oh my goodness. Do you think there'll be another one? Oh, no. <laughs> no, we got the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands doesn't feel right for this reading at all. So, so yeah, we've got three aces, the beginning of love, the beginning of uh, finances and, uh, you know, um, being, it's like uh, achieving more financially, okay, and the ideas as well, the ideas going off, you know, what are you going to do? You know, how are you going to achieve what it is that you want to achieve to do with your finances? Download moments. And then you got that celebration of love. So very good reading for Sagittarius. And even if we did include the 10 ones, that just means that sometimes we are in a heads down and working mode. Um, and then we look forward to then going out and enjoying ourselves and uh, being around the family. So yeah, sometimes we have to pace it. So that's what I get for uh, Sagittarius. Okay. So it's time for Aries. Okay. 12th to the 18th, August. Here we go, guys. What do you want to tell the Aries people? So I know Linda Winger is a is an Aries. Hey, Linda. And um, our Vera is uh, also an Aries. And any other Aries out there? That's the one. Let's have a look. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, she is... Um, she plans ahead she is um reorganizing things it's like i was going to go in this direction but there's been a big change that big change has meant she's got to redirect her energies he or she redirect her energies and now it's like a, a different way um of going about her wish okay so um and i feel that this hat these big changes have had to toughen up um, everybody and um, redirect um, some people as well there has been conversations that I didn't want to hear I didn't want to hear you say that or you know that was not nice the way you said that or you know um, it's an argument that was quite cutting um, and I feel as if I'm I'm trying to ignore gossip. I'm trying to ignore what other people um, may or may not be talking about. It's like I'm trying to um, just shield myself a bit. Okay, there seems to be a love life issue or an emotional issue. Um, I feel as if there's either a new relationship or a complex relationship um, around um, as well. So something is uh, is building up, I feel, here. Um, coming up at the beginning of next week, okay? Um, and it does link to the future and future plans. Um, and there is somebody who I feel is uh, not playing fair. Um, you know, when somebody's getting involved with things that they shouldn't get involved with, it's none of their business, um, but they're doing it anyway, okay? There's a bit of that um, happening, okay? We've got lots of dreams and lots of wishes and they are not going to, they're not going to stop. They're not going to be, you know, um, cast to one side and never picked up again. Um, but I do feel as if just for the moment it's about um, grounding and getting used to the now, getting used to how things are now um, and shedding away the um, uh, the, the fear and the um, the negativity of the past. Um, this kind of like it's like a world change as well that is going on as well as our our um, personal ones as well so personally we're trying to kind of you know get go forward and realize that uh, this is I feel that there is going to be changes to do with our governments in the UK I can see this um, I can see this being um, something that is building and building and building. Um, and I don't like seeing the uh, the violence, absolutely not. 
Um, but I do see um, that that is, you know, we are then going through our own uh, turmoil and our own changes that we want to see. So we want to see changes on the outside, but we're also going inside as well um, to work out what uh, what is happening there. Um, um, there is holding on to, um, you know, your own personal space and your own personal time. Um, there is strong talk about your home and what you want for your home, whether you want to stay in your home or whether you want to move or there's there's been some changes to do with people who live in your home. Um, but definitely I'm seeing movement around your home, around your security um, and around, you know, the future and your wishes of the future. Um, I'm seeing um, some legal documents or some sort of letter that comes through the door that has an official feel to it. Um, and I'm seeing there being some money that needs to be spent out um, on that um, on that document, okay? But it does feel as if it will all come good in the end. So sometimes things are worthwhile because we are changing things. And sometimes when we change things, we have to, um, it co you know, it costs a bit of money, uh, but I don't feel as if it's a lot. I feel as if it's just, you know, sometimes an inconvenience now, um, really. Okay. I'm seeing a romantic gesture also around you, Aries, or a kind deed. Somebody saying, do you know what? I appreciate you. I appreciate what you're doing. Um, thank you very much. Okay. So it's going to be strong strong um feelings there um somebody who's a perfectionist or someone who's trying to push themselves um to be a perfectionist um is uh, is happening and uh, i can see that somebody is very hard on themselves um as well and is trying hard um it's it's like they're trying hard not to see all the times that they are good all the times that that they have achieved things and it's like only the bad stuff comes up but that's the kind of way that most people in life sometimes deal with that in a child moments it's like you know uh, we have one criticism um, and that's the what we have loads and loads of compliments but one criticism and the, that's what we pick up on that's what we keep seeing is uh, is that that one thing so um so i do see that there is um you know um whoever this is it's like i'm seeing a need to talk things over and to not um not upset um your inner child okay that's so important inner child and i just got the princess of cups if anything in the deck of tarot is an inner child card then that one is um because that means um a young emotional person okay young emotional person so yeah um i can see there being um a new job offer okay um or a way of earning extra money because i'm seeing some money flowing into your life um i'm seeing this may be to do with um house sitting or it may be to do with um you know because we've got the home and a bit of disruption you see so um, the three of pentacles it's like changes in your home okay and then we had the new money card okay that's why all of that came about and then i had the the holiday card vacations and holiday so when you see those cards together you can see why i would say um holiday um and uh house sitting maybe that sort of thing or maybe you're trying to find a house sitter so that you can go on holiday um or vacation okay but that ace of pentacles is new money new opportunity um that is looking forward to the summer looking forward to some sort of sunshine energy um there is some decorating moving and changes um to do with a house as well so um, I'm seeing a bit of a disruption and also I'm seeing some new garden furniture as well they're showing me garden furniture I'm, I'm ripping this off uh, the, the plastic I'm ripping the plastic off um, this new garden furniture so yeah enjoy that I think you're going to have a lovely um, you know garden party or something um, or just something 
something nice for you guys so there you go that's what i see for um for aries so it is aquarius and uh, this is the 12th through to the 18th of august okay let's have a look and see what they want to tell you guys what's going to be happening this next week so i'm tuning in now to your energy um my son-in-law Hi, Craig is uh, is Aquarius. So, any other Aquarius out there? Let me know. Right. <clears throat> okay. So we've got the looking after card, the nurturing card. Um, so make sure that you take time. Um, to rest make sure you take time uh, to relax you know the seven of swords is the um the safety blanket card okay now there is a young female around okay and i feel this is a tearful character someone who's who's feeling as if their emotions are rising to the surface um and i feel a bit overwhelmed by my emotions when i tune in um i'm also celebrating as well of achievements so um it's like um you know to do with i feel your personal life there's a lot of emotions going on there's a lot of need to you know uh, secure yourself and pamper yourself um but then you've also got this three of wands which is achievement well done centering you know you have done it you have achieved more than you thought so um there is a, a lot to be thankful for um, as well um, that week, the beginning of next week. Okay, so that's over the next couple of days. Okay, so part um, of, you know, you wants to feel as if, you know, there is more to life. Um, and so there is a need to have fun. There's a need to let your hair down. There's a need to kind of, you know, it's like giggling or, or, um, you know laughter okay so um see if there is something that you can do that would involve um you being you know young and free and fun um but not too much craig because obviously you know unless you're going to do that with Rhea, <laughs> me being mother-in-law uh being very very kind of like you know mumsy um, so, yeah, we've got the devil card, which is why I'm saying this. The devil card can be mischievous and naughty. And it's like, we don't want any more babies right now either. <laughs> so, um, but there is somebody who's feeling a bit spoiled, a bit selfish at this moment in time. And it feels like they are, um, they're expecting more than, than what you can give. And it's like, I don't know how to please you. I don't know how to um make everything right um there's also um and um something to do with a meeting i'm seeing a meeting and i feel as if this meeting is to do with your job um and um or your so this is either job work career life path okay but it's a meeting that will be for your future and what i'm seeing is um having to be prepared and having to be organized so um if if this is you and you have you know that you've got an interview or you've got a, some sort of job that you're you've got to do um then i'm really clearly picking up um that you can't go at to this meeting without having all your ducks in a row everything organized and sorted um that's going to go down really well if you do have everything organized um there's a also um a doctor's appointment or you know something to do with medical okay matters i'll show you the card the four of pentacles you can see he looks like a doctor there with his doctor's jacket on okay so i do feel as if there is something to do with doctors um and there's also some some sort of meeting or get together to do with work as well so it's like there's a mixture of the two there okay all right so um the emperor so this this can be the father figure fatherly character okay so if this is you 
um, you know, this can be, you know, you nurturing or looking after or you being the, the strong masculine person of the house um, and taking charge and making sure everybody's OK. Um, so um, this this is it's just a masculine feeling, um, you know, when somebody kind of needs to be the one that is bringing everything together and doing all the practical things and all the physical things that need to um, be organized. I'm definitely in a lot of that. Um, there is a bit of an extra uh, financial windfall coming as well around the end of this next week. So that's moving towards the 18th, maybe the 17th or 18th of August. And um, because I'm seeing this extra money coming to you. And there's also this strong feeling of maybe not telling too many people about this extra money, it being a bit of a blessing, a bit of a, well, that was nice, or, you know, that was uh, that was unexpected, but uh, I'm enjoying that. So, so yeah, I, um, you've got the abundance, you know, the nine of pentacles, she, she looks abundant, you know, he it has to, you know, doesn't matter about the gender there. Um, so, yeah, there's a key in a hand, okay, so this is to do with keys opening new doors, okay, you've got the how nice house nice car in the background you've also got all those pentacles coming towards you as well and she looks affluent there she looks you know she's got her wine and she's got the grapes and the fruit um so everything is kind of um in abundance um and um things really going better than you thought okay so this can also be promotion or extra uh money um coming in you know that you wasn't uh, that you know nobody knew about okay so um maybe an opportunity to earn more um and doing a second job or something um but yeah it's it's all good um i'm seeing a motherly character around you who is um bubbly and happy most of the time and is also very independent um i feel that there may be some spiritual happenings um something that is happening spiritually that it, that uh, it's like we can't work that out or you know well that we can't explain um but um yeah look out for some spiritual things i'm not talking about horrible hauntings or anything like that it's more to do with kind of you know watch out for feathers watch out for you know rainbows butterflies um that sort of thing that uh, spirit like to um you know give you that that uh, experience okay that comes from you know spirit world yeah so there you go that's what i got for aquarius and gemininians this is for you okay 12th to the 18th guides come on let's give them a good reading for gemini's There we are. Okay. Oh, you've got that card out as well. The nine of pentacles. So once again, I slid all those cards in the deck. Um, so they weren't all together. Um, so yeah, nine of pentacles. Um, you're gonna be taking a leap of faith when it comes to some sort of money, um, an exchange of money. I feel as if this is to do with a house, a home or something for the house or home it could be you know one minute you 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 know you've no intention of buying a new sofa and the next minute oh by the way i've bought a new sofa or by the way i've bought something um it feels as if there is some sort of you know i i don't know it's on spur of the moment the full card he is i don't know i'm stepping off the edge into the unknown i'm just going to go for it it might shock other people um but um, it's it's feeling quite um, wealthy or feeling quite uh, quite good. Okay, um, that's the first two cards out. Um, now you don't mind a challenge, okay? You got seven of wands, which is a challenge. Bring it on, okay? Bring it on. I am ready for a challenge. So this means that whatever money is spent out, you're absolutely going to be bringing that back in again. You've got some ideas on how that can be brought in again, um, what you can achieve, okay, as well. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot um, to, uh, a lot going on at the beginning of the week, for sure. And, uh, you know, you're definitely not uh, 
not holding back making decisions yourself okay um lovely we've got the three of cups the three of cups is always celebration of love it's the intensity of love sometimes when you first meet someone you're not sure if it's love or if it's lust you're not sure if it's a you know this could be a new friendship and that friendship might seem perfect to you um but later on you start to see different kind of traits and you think oh i'm just not sure about that okay but you have then the three uh, the three of cups celebration of love the ace of wands see these aces are coming back again and again and again no matter how much i push these cards into the deck uh, randomly okay so have you been feeling a bit bored and restless within a relationship or within friendships or within your family are you in need of spicing things up or or starting to get out and about and do things um now this just indicates that sometimes there's a bit of a warning you know before things get out of hand or before the universe starts bringing you some suitors okay if you're in a relationship and you're bored um you do need to address that because that goes out to the universe the universe says oh okay we're bored okay let's what do you think of this person will this person help um to make you um more excited about life um or what about this person or what about that person um and all of that starts to happen and um you then just don't know which way to turn okay so uh, yeah that can actually make your life complicated even though you aren't actually sending the signal out um to bring that person to you okay so if it's not to do with a um, a love life relationship sometimes it will be a friendship or sometimes it is perhaps you know uh, previous family members that you haven't seen for a while and um, because you're feeling a, a little bit um you know lacking in that department the universe says lacking okay we'll bring you something in then okay so the ace of wands that kind of spark there is a need for some passion and that passion is also um it's also for life passion in life you know um when was the last time you did a hobby that you absolutely love to do um and what was that hobby what what was you good at what did you do um and that's quite strong okay either way that that new love is going to bring you that direct happiness to you um the 10 of cups is is about feeling fulfilled and happy feeling as if i am i know who i am and i love who i am and that's it so there is a um, very strong kind of feelings here of um of you know togetherness achievement um within a relationship or within you know a family structure here um that where there has been boredom but you've kind of um it's like spice things up or or um made things better okay um added more love and laughter into your life okay um so once again we've got these aces they keep rounding up okay they keep coming in even though i am slotting them randomly in the deck okay so this time you have the ace of swords and sorry that you have the ace of wands and the ace of cups ace of wands is um fired up it's like that spark of interest um after it being kind of a bit bored you know a bit bored and then you've got the ace of ace of cups which is you know that overflowing of love that uh, that feeling of intensity linking to you know your your spiritual side maybe um you've got nine of wands now you've got two nines okay here um nines are we're nearly there but okay we've still got a bit to do we've still got a bit to go um but you should be very proud of where, where you have been and how you've got to this stage um with the nine of wands you can also see the lion there um and it's blocked okay you can see the barrier there which means that sometimes we're holding back anger or frustration uh, we're not telling too many people um, just how we're feeling. We're trying very hard to um, to 
ignore maybe ignore our feelings of being frustrated um, with uh, whatever that is whatever you know whether that's a financial frustration whether that's an emotional frustration okay but something is uh, needing to get um reorganized in your life gemini's and i do strongly feel hobbies um and organization of uh, not letting yourself get bored okay that's strong strong energy there so yeah that's what i get for our gemini's okay so the last the last of our readings this is libra and uh, this is my lovely husband and my soulmate, my forever man. Um, he, this is for you, my love, because he's a triple Libra. I've got Libra rising, and um, for any other Libras out there, yeah. So here we go. So let me just tune in. Um, now these cards I didn't slot in. Okay, just so that you know, I forgot to do that. Um, but I'm going to give them a good shuffle. I'm also going to flick the cards. So, you know, because those aces, it's very interesting that those aces have come up so much in, you know, more than one at each st stage. You know, these are really shuffled. Look, you know, so <laughs> that's definitely shuffled. Okay, and then we're going to give them a good, good shuffle. Put the energy back in there. All right, so let me concentrate on the dates. So uh, 12th through to the 18th. Oh, two cards just flew out. Would you believe it's an ace? Ace of swords, ideas, downloads, information coming to you. Um, and this is about, you know, you've got the wand card again. And it's a positive wand because, look, she knows or he knows exactly what direction he's going in. Um, she knows that she is... Um, already successful and she's just going to follow the yellow brick road she's going to follow this to to get where she wants to be and is there links with egypt here look at that um pyramid there so um that may have something to do with it but the ace is that thought pattern um those kind of like ideas that are coming in okay let's finish that shuffle all right so here we go Mm -hmm. all right so lovely card to start with which is i am complete and happy within myself i don't need anybody i might desire them and want them but i don't need them this is a brilliant way to be this is a perfect um energy to then meet somebody um, when we try and meet somebody when we're feeling needy or when we're feeling as if I can't live without without meeting that person, I, I'm not complete without, I'm bored, I, I need, I want, I need, um, what that does, that energy is definitely not stable to have that stable relationship. It's always chasing and chasing and chasing and that energy just pushes that spiritual person further and further and further back because they just can't um they just can't deal with that okay that's not the right energy okay so so when you're in this ten of cups which is do you know what my life is good actually it's very very good um it is what it is you know sometimes we have to think like that now it is with the two of cups what did i say about then meeting somebody so that is the meeting somebody significant meeting somebody who is um, um going to be an important role in your life for the future whether that's romantic or whether that is um a friendship okay so stand up for yourself with that four of swords um, nobody is going to try and tell you that you're doing wrong because deep inside, you know, you're doing your best. You also know um, that uh, nobody can tell you what to do. OK, um, so this is um, this. This to me feels as if you are um, in a, a very good place. OK, to do with your love life and your emotions. Um, 
and uh, but you also know that you're not going to take any crap um, as well. You're not going to you're not going to settle for second best. You're not going to be um, in an, an unhappy relationship. You're not just going to kind of glide along into that. Okay, you are open to meet that special person as long as they understand um, that uh, you deserve so much. You give so much as well. Remember that. So you've got that lovely nine of pentacles that's back again as well. And nine of pentacles means that financially things are rolling in. OK, we've got um, things to be grateful for. So that is nice house, nice car. Um, that could be a nice job. That could be family. Um, but it can also be the little things as well that we feel as if we are grateful for, that we we feel, you know, wow, um, you know, look at what, what uh what I've got, you know, um, I, yeah, it, it's, uh, we have to appreciate those things. Um, it's very, very important. Um, and that's the, the middle of the week. Also the middle of the week, we also have the eight of pentacles, which is, um, you can see her concentrating on that um, rose in the middle there. And that means um, that financially, you are putting your money where your mouth is, or um, you are deciding to um, learn something, learn a skill that could earn you money in the future. Um, that can be, or everything is aligned around um, what it is that you're concentrating on. Um, it's actually a very positive card as well. That can also be about your child's education. It can be about educating yourself or you can learn new skills or gifts. Um, along with the full card, so the full card is I'm stepping off the edge into the unknown. I'm just doing it. I, I feel that it's the right thing to do. So look at those cards together. So something is saying that uh, maybe you are making a point of uh, um, following your dreams or your wishes, following what it is that you want to do. And with that, it's like everything just slots into place and becomes easy. And it's like, why did I do this before? This was a lot less hassle and a lot less stressful um, than um, before. So I should have done it earlier. So um, another ace. Here we go again. I, I can't believe these um, these cards. Um, so, yeah, the ace of cups, ace of cups is overflowing of emotion overflowing of um you know it's like needing to be loved and to give love okay and your spirit guides are there saying we're bringing the person that you're supposed to be with we are bringing them don't worry about it um there is going to be some sort of promotion or extra responsibility coming up to do with work and finances um this means stepping forward on to new ground you know nothing seems to be too much trouble it's like yep yeah, i'll do that for you i'll do that for you um but that is rewards are going to be coming to you okay and you're going to be feeling very very good about that okay all your hard work paying off for sure so yeah good cards good reading okay so that's what I get everybody for Libra. And that is the end of the astrology readings. So I'm hoping you enjoyed them. Um, if anybody would like a reading with me, a one-to-one -one reading, uh, you can go to the website, psychicali.net. Okay. And if you wanted to join my Patreon, which is a membership, um, it's as little as 86 pence um, a month. And that gives you the the meeting that we have once a month. And there are different tiers as well. So that's $1.11, $5.55, which works out about £4. Um, and then $11.11 um, and $22.22, $33.33. Um, and that's dollars, that is. So, and it goes up. So it depends on, and each time you get the following um gifts and things and then you get something else on top so all the details will be in the um below this video once it's uploaded um and i will add it on okay so i'll add on the information all right um 
so take care and um keep making good choices and enjoy enjoy life you know i know there's a lot going on but please keep thinking about how you want this world to be um after the transition which the world is going through now after this transition what do you what do you want how can you see everything being run how can you see everybody getting along and harmony coming out and what is fair for the people okay so that's where i'm going i'm thinking past the obstacle okay because we are co-creators of this new world that we're going to live in okay all right so bye for now i love you bye